<laughs> it's been too long. I'm trying to figure out how we sit. I know. I know. It's like doing it again for the first time. We've been on a little bit of a hiatus. Oh. Because we just had a four-day body sex retreat in upstate New York with all of the body sex leaders we've certified. So it was 45 of us. We had some guest speakers. Barbara Corellis was there. Jaya was there. Eric Pride was there. And it was really... It was really an event to honor Betty's life work and an early 90th birthday party and also a kind of passing of the torch that her work is, your work is going on. How did that feel? I'm passing it. <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> and I'm rubbing it on my clit. <laughs> I'm, I'm still processing. I really am. I'm lying in bed at night for at least 15, 20 minutes going back over the visuals. Then I first wake up in the morning, I stay in bed an extra 30 minutes processing the images. That's what I do. I kind of look at, I get this look. It's, yeah. you know, we were talking about this. It was one of the most profound experiences of my life. And a lot of other <sighs> women that were there and attended said the same thing. And I think it's because when you have a group of women, almost 50 women, Grounded in self-love and pleasure, masturbating in a circle in the nude, having energy orgasms, eating every meal Breathing together. Breathing together. Yeah, it's just, it's so powerful. And peaceful. And that's what the retreats, it was a Tibetan retreat, uh, a Dalai Lama actually property, and it focuses healing. And the staff there said they'd never been with a group that was so peaceful. And, 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 and Alex said that they were, all of them were commenting about every room that they went into was pristine, that none of the women were throwing things around. It, the, the rooms were clean and the, the bedrooms pulled up. and the... Self-love. When we love ourselves and we respect ourselves, it affects everything else. It trickles out to every other aspect If you of are in your body, you are in the space that you occupy. You are in the world that we all live in. On. So it just feeds out. And I've, I've always, I keep saying to you and to anyone else who will listen, it's just, just having an independent orgasm, so being able to be orgasmic on your own, does that have any meaning? How is that going to How does loving your body and appreciating your body and connecting to your body, what? and with climate change and some things that have been going on, I felt very kind of powerless. And I had this profound experience in the circle because I feel like, wow, we could change things. We could really shift everything. The and energy. It, and it's women. We will we will save the world if it's worth saving by the time the guys finish dumping all over it. I mean, really. I know, it's kind of scary, but at the same time, I was inspired. I have hope, you know? It is hopeful. It is hopeful. No one wanted to leave. We didn't want to leave. It was just this magical moment running through the forest at these beautiful Tibetan rooms and, and the feng shui and everyone was so happy and, and we had these beautiful the food, moments. The food was so good. It was balanced with the beans and the rice and the, and the grain and the vegetables and it was all cooked. It overcooked. <laughs> and everyone there were having... We were all having profound bowel movements. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a spa and a pool. It was just, God, sisterhood, being with that kind of yeah. intense yeah. female energy. And the air was so clean. Oh, uh, it's just beautiful. But it, it made me think about, you know, we are going to have three workshops this fall. We were thinking of retiring. I know I wrote about it. Uh huh. And I want more women to have this experience. We want more, more women to get certified and become leaders because it really is that important. You know, in, in any organized religion or organized government, what's the first thing we do is we oppress women. We divorce women from their bodies. We demean motherhood. We put out so much information, misinformation that women don't understand how to give themselves an orgasm. Right? We live to please. It's like... It, Without fail, it's in every culture. Why? You only oppress the strong, the powerful. That's us. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> 
So now I know that women will will save the earth, will save Mother Earth. That and the orgasms, independent orgasms, meaning that you can take care of your own sexual needs, is relevant. It's key. It gives you a voice. It gives you autonomy. It gives you your body. It gives you a, a place to live. A sense of self. So I've been doing the right thing all these years. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you dedicated your life <laughs> to the right thing. I had no idea. I mean, I hoped I had it. I mean, I hoped. <laughs> uh, no, it hit me too. So if you'd like to join us in the circle, we're doing three groups, October 21st and 22nd, November 11th and 12th, and uh, December 9th and 10th. And they're slowly filling up, and we haven't really announced it, so this is the official announcement. Just send me an email. I've missed our YouTubes. I know. This is really great. I'm going to make more of an effort. I think we might have to do it on Saturdays. It's hard with a toddler. It's <laughs> Babies were easier. <laughs> yeah. Saturdays are fun. Yeah. So you'll see us Saturday, our new day. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're going to we're yeah. gonna shake on it. Shake on it. <laughs> she made the mistake of shaking with me the last time. <laughs> and look what happened to me 10 years later. Yep. Here you are, stuck in, stuck in the world of female sexuality not bad huh? Whew, not a bad day no <laughs> well this weekend was a culmination of every dream i ever had of coming true and thank you everyone for joining us we love you all i miss them already i miss these wonderful women they were just and i was receiving so much love i wondered can i handle it Yes. Just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I am that more than... We need more love. Come to a okay. circle. Yes. <laughs> Come to a circle. Love us even more. And we'll love you right back. <laughs>